So here we'll take a look at two of our transaction metrics, uh, namely transaction volume and the velocity of tokens or token velocity. Both of these are necessary when you're doing any sort of serious network analysis. So let's start with transaction volume first. This graph shows the aggregate or the total amount of tokens across all transactions that happened on the network on a certain date. Uh, in other words, a spike in transaction volume means one or two things. It either means a large amount of tokens moving or a large number of transactions occurring on that day. Now, transaction volume isn't really a strong price indicator or it's at least not as strong of a price indicator as some other metrics that we have, but it can still be used pretty effectively when you're doing any sort of detailed midterm analysis or just along with other metrics to explain certain events. Now, this here is a transaction volume graph for basic attention token or BAT. This is a decentralized ad network on Ethereum. So this per day graph is still pretty noisy. So what we first want to do is we actually want to smooth it out with a seven day average. Why? Because then we can see that the correlation between price and transaction volume can sometimes be pretty evident, but at other times it's simply not there necessarily. And that's why this metric is a pretty strong complementary, but not necessarily a strong direct signal or a direct price indicator. You want to use it in tandem with other data sets. Now, on the other hand, the velocity of tokens or to token velocity, it shows the average number of times that a token has changed wallets each day. Simply put, uh, a higher token velocity means that a token has been used in transactions more often within a specific time frame that you've set. And token velocity can be used to explain a whole uh, lo a whole specter of anomalies and strange events in a life cycle of a project. Now, one very interesting example is the Ethereum platform itself, which has a pretty strange uh, velocity of tokens graph. So here you can see a huge spike in token velocity from about March 2017 to just about March 2018. And then there's a massive drop off and the token velocity never really recovers to that level again. So those of you that have actually been following the market at that time would know that this time frame, so March 2017 to March 2018, correlates exactly with a huge Ethereum mixer that was active at the time. So once that mixer was actually liquidated, the token velocity simply fell back to the, you could say, normal levels, and it's been there ever since.